ABC is an isosceles triangle such that AB is equal to AC. A has coordinates minus 6, 8, and B and C both lie on the line 5y is equal to 3x minus 10. Find the equation of the line of symmetry of the triangle ABC, giving your answer in the form of PX plus QY is equal to R, where P, Q and R are integers. Okay, in order to do this type of question, you need to draw a diagram. Now, the diagram doesn't have to be exactly according to the coordinates. You just need to draw an isosceles triangle and just mark that that point is minus 6, 8. We also know that this line here is 5y is equal to 3x minus 10. And you should also mark on the line that you're trying to find, which is this one which is perpendicular to the line 5y is equal to 3x minus 10. And this is called the line of symmetry. Now, it doesn't actually matter what the coordinates of B and C are. We don't really need to know them to answer the question because the uh, method is to find the gradient of this line, use the fact that these two lines are perpendicular to find the gradient of this line. And because we know one point on the line, minus 6, 8, we can find its equation. So, writing down 5y is equal to 3x minus 10. In order to find the gradient of this line, you need to put it in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So, dividing both sides by 5, will give that y is equal to 3 over 5, and use fractions, x minus 10 over 5, which is minus 2. And then, if we use y is equal to mx plus c, we will see that m is 3 over 5. So the gradient of this line is 3 over 5. So line BC has a gradient, M is equal to 3 over 5. Line of symmetry is perpendicular. So this line here is perpendicular. And we know also that A is the, uh, the point here because we know that AB and AC are equal. So line of symmetry is perpendicular to BC. So the rule for... Uh, perpendicular lines for gradients is that 3 over 5 times the perpendicular gradient, which is the gradient of this line, will be equal to minus 1, which means that the perpendicular gradient is going to be minus 5 over 3. And then we can use either y is equal to mx plus c or y1, y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. I'm going to use y is equal to mx plus c, but mp is obviously this gradient. So we know that when y is 8, x is minus 6. So at mi minus 6, 8, we will have that 8 is equal to the gradient of that line, which is minus 5 over 3, times my value of x plus c. This will allow me to find c. Obviously, the 3 and the minus 6 cancel. So we get minus 2. So we're going to get that 8 is minus 2 times five, minus 5, which is 10, plus c, which gives that c is minus 2. So putting it all back together, our equation will be y is equal to the gradient, minus 5 over 3, times x, plus my c, which is minus 2. Now, this is the actual answer, but not in the correct format. So writing that out again, and this is what we're heading for, px plus qy is equal to r. Thing is here we have an a, p q and r have to be integers so thing is here we've got to divide by three so the first step would be to multiply everything through by three if you do that you get three y if you multiply this by three you're just going to get minus five x and then if you multiply minus two by three is minus six don't forget to multiply the minus two by three and then what we need to do is add five x to both sides, and that will give me that 5x plus 3y is equal to minus 6. So we now have p is 5, q is 3, and r is minus 6. We now have it in the correct format where p, q, and r are integers. It doesn't say they have to be positive integers, it just says integers. Okay, now, if we just look at this GeoGebra app, this is the actual situation. Now, you're not required to draw this. This is the 6 point minus 6, 8. This is uh, C and B, and this is the equation 5x minus 5y is equal to 10. And this is the equation of the line of symmetry. Now, if we use the slider, 
I'm just going to show you that it doesn't matter what A, a B and C are. There's a lone infinite number of isosceles triangles that we have there. So we do not need to actually find, just to show you that we don't actually need to find the point B and C. Okay, so this has been a video to help show you how to find the equation of the line of symmetry of an isosceles triangle. I hope you've understood. And the GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of the video. Thank you very much for watching.